Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Weapon Guides here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. These are where I go through the uh, game and bring you guys a max level review on all of the legendary weapons and eventually items, um, shields, grenades, things like that. Uh, give them a try out, tell you exactly where to get them and uh, yeah, just hopefully teach you a bit more about them. So today we are going to be covering a uh, returning favourite actually in all the Borderlands games this uh, legendary sniper rifle actually features so uh, it's quite strange for a, a, you know, a weapon to actually have been in all three Borderlands games um, so this one has done well to do that which just goes to show how good a, a weapon it actually is so without further ado today we will be doing the legendary Skull Masher sniper rifle which is manufactured by Jacob. So, of course, first thing I'm going to tell you is where to get it. So, the place where you get it is in Regalith Range, and uh, to actually get it, you need to spawn the secret little boss called Nell. There is a side mission in the game early on where you've got to uh, fill out some guy's last request, and at the end, you've just got to go up to this guy called Nell and call him a dick, and uh, you think that is the end of it. But, there is actually a secret little way to get him to actually spawn. So to actually do that, you need to pick up two random signs which are located close to Nell. After that, they're at the top of two towers, which I'll have shown you already. But after that, you need to go down and place these two signs on the wall facing Nell, uh, which will spell out uh, Dick Nell, um, or something like that, some kind of insult. And um, Nell doesn't take too kindly to it and he will start shouting around and um, actually moving from his original position he'll make his way across to near where the first tower is where you'd uh, pick up the first sign and uh, then all he'll summon all of his friends basically they will be max level so make sure you are uh, max leveled as well or close to it um, and you've got to fight them there's loads of them about and uh, well basically it's a bit tough time but eventually, if you take them all down, there'll be some ultimate badasses come out. And uh, then Nell, when you look at him, his health bar will turn from green to red, which means that he's now hostile and will allow you to fight him. But as you can see, after that, it's uh, if you kill him, he has the chance to drop the legendary school masher. And he's not that stingy with it, really. I've filmed a few videos for a minute where he's dropped it quite well. So uh, it's not too hard a sniper rifle to get. So let's take a closer look at it now we've got it to drop. So, we'll get a little bit of an overview on it right now. So, this is the legendary Skull Masher Sniper, which, of course, I've said is already manufactured by Jacobs. It, um, the red text says, a real head turner turns to mush. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Um, the special weapon effects are shoots a group of six projectiles, decreased damage at the cost of one ammo, decreased gun accuracy as well. So, you can see there's minus 66% weapon damage, and plus 180% critical hit damage. So you get less weapon damage overall um, at the cost of just one ammo, but there is increased critical hit damage as well. So make sure you go for them headshots. Uh, prefixes include the Skookum, which is damage, the Tlacope, which is melee, the Seersea is accuracy, the Tum Tum is critical hit, the Chikamin is stability, the Hayu is mag size, and the Kluk is fire rate. A lot of confusing words in there. But uh, we'll get another overview going as well uh, against another sniper rifle, which is quite close to the invade, uh, the Skull Masher, which I've chose to be the Invader. So compared to the Invader, at the very same level, you can see that although the damage is less base, it has the times six projectiles on it as well. So that makes it a significantly higher base damage than the Invader. It's uh, a lot less accuracy though for a sniper rifle to be in the 80s means that you've got to be closer than you want to be with a sniper rifle really so the invader has much better accuracy on it 2.6 fire rate is a lot faster compared to the invader though so uh, that's what you want in a sniper rifle sometimes real fast fire rate uh, but then the reload speed and the mag size is a lot less in fact the mag size is only 9 compared to the invader which has 24 altogether as well but you do get that plus 180 percent critical hit damage uh, which is a lot more than the 120% you get from the invader. Uh, again, though, if you don't hit them critical hits, then you're going to get less, uh, your minus 66% weapon damage. 
Now, if we go to the wiki, the official Borderlands wiki on this, under usage and description, it says a legendary weapon returning from Borderlands and Borderlands 2. The Skull Masher is largely unchanged. In Borderlands the pre-sequel, it features a faster rate of fire, fires a cluster of six bullets, one more than its predecessor, just like the original. So in Borderlands 1, it actually had the uh, six bullet cluster. In Borderlands 2, they nerfed it slightly to five, and now it's back up to six again. Like its predecessors, each shot only costs one round of ammunition. If all six projectiles connect, Skullmasher is capable of much higher raw damage output than most of its peers. It tends to have very low accuracy for a sniper rifle, however, and is best used at mid-range or against very large enemies. So somebody in this game like Deadlift would be perfect for that. Very big guy and uh, would definitely get wrecked by it more if all six bullets connected. And uh, finally, since this fires six pellets instead of one bullet, it can achieve multiple critical hits in one shot. This is very useful for obtaining the melon splitter challenge faster. Uh, so yeah, there you go basically guys. Now, my opinion on this is uh, pretty pretty okay. I mean, it never has an element with it, the Skull Masher. It's always a normal uh, sniper rifle. So uh, I prefer a bit of an element sometimes, but if you can get it paired up with uh, a sniper or really a setup who uh, automatically equips those uh, elements to her gun as you can see then it just makes this a hell of a lot better always try and get the shock obviously to strip shields but uh, I like to just go with the uh, the explosive random element and it just absolutely wipes enemies out sometimes as well even at max level uh, and even with my poor sniping which uh, isn't always the best sometimes but uh, yeah, this is the first school master I've covered in these, uh, sorry, the first sniper rifle I've covered in these guides so far. And uh, it's pretty much one of the best really. I've used the school masher uh, quite a lot actually in Borderlands 2. Not so much in Borderlands 1 because I uh, tended to go with the uh, pearlescent um, Bessie quite a lot. But in Borderlands 2 it really did help me out of a few sticky situations and uh, with an assassin as well especially. So uh, yeah, my definite recommendations, although this can be used with all characters, if you can get a good or really a setup, a sniping setup on the go, then this is just absolutely awesome. It'll rip through enemies, no end. Just sit back, take your time, and uh, just watch them all fall. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is another Ultimate Vault on Mode Legendary Weapon Guide. Today we've done this School Masher, the Legendary Jacob Sniper Rifle. Let me know what you think of this weapon in the comments as usual. Uh, tell me if you like it, if you don't, and why. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Meat bicycle!